All right, hello every, everybody from the guitar class. Uh, this is Carlton again. Uh, so uh, we're going to continue on. Uh, I guess the first thing I'll do is play uh, the next few examples from the book. Uh, and then I'm going to do the chords and a couple uh, songs that use those chords. All right, so next thing is notes on the second string. Uh, so the second string, open, is a B, okay, second string first fret is C, second string third fret is D, so again open B, C, B, all on the second string, open B, C, D. Make sure your thumb's on the back of the neck. Make sure you're on the tip of your fingers. Make sure you're right behind the fret. One more time. Open B, C, D. Okay, so um, we'll go over, you know, which one's which as far as reading. Uh, so I'm not gonna go through that right now. Uh, I'm also not gonna go through the half notes and whole note examples. Um, we'll go over my class, but. So here's number 11, sounds like this. One, two, three, four. 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 Uh, here's the next one, number 12. Thirteen. Make sure you get those half notes. All right. Uh, for anybody else that's not in the class, if you want to use this, we're using Hal Leonard Book One, page eight and nine. Um, Hal Leonard Guitar Method Book One. Um, okay. So moving from string to string. Now we have three notes on the first string, E, F, and G. And three notes on the second string, open B, C, D. Okay, so the first one, 14, all whole notes. Number 15, half notes. Notice the patterns. So the second note of every measure up until the, it looks like sixth measure, uh, the second note of every measure is E. So all you have to worry about is the first note of each measure, which goes in patterns of two. First two measures, B, E, B, E. Then second measure, and, or third and fourth, uh, C, E, C, E, etc. Sounds like this. Again, notice the patterns. First two measures of the first line are the same as the first two measures of the second line. Also, the second, um, third measure of the second line is the same as the first measure of both lines. Um, okay, so it sounds like this. think we're gonna get this far but just in case here it is Ode to Joy keep in mind um, they put this in my opinion a little early in the book so they had to change it a little bit rhythmically from what we're used to um, to make it so that you can play it with what they've already taught you so in other words they've left out a couple of eighth notes uh, a couple of the notes are a different kind of note we haven't done called a dotted quarter um, so I am going to play it the way 
it's written, and then I'll play it the way that we're used to hearing it, um, just so it doesn't confuse you. So here it is, the way it's written. and the way we're used to hearing it. Oops. charge for wrong notes um, as the great Danny Gettin would say um, all right so anyway uh, one other thing the last note of the uh, third line is actually an open G the third string open which is the G an octave lower they have again they haven't shown it to you so they changed it why they didn't just make it two pages later and show you that note I don't know but I didn't write it okay so anyway that's all to joy we'll continue from there um, okay, want to review uh, Smoke on the Water that we did uh, last week. So, um, just for other people not in the class, I can tell you that um, when um, was it Richie Blackmore recorded this, it was actually like this. <laughs> people think it's lower than that but it's not um, anyway um, the way we do it is open just makes it a little easier same pitches so you start out with a third string open which sounds a little funny just by itself but it's a way to start open third fifth open third six fifth open third fifth third open here it is again open third fifth open third six fifth open third fifth third open and then what you do is you play the third and fourth strings over here you pick both strings See, I'm barring. Okay, let me know if you have questions about that. All right, and then the next thing is still just trying to master um, some of the basic chords G. chord, then a C chord, and a D chord. Again, G, C, a little out of tune, but a D. Also, E minor. Depending on what you're doing, you can either do it with the first two or the second and third. There are reasons to do it either way, uh, and there are other fingerings for some of the other chords like G but we'll talk about it later. Um, okay, so then a couple things I wanted to do is just, this may be a little down the road, but I'll put them here and you can use them when you're ready. Um, first thing is the, uh, the chorus part of um, Knocking on Heaven's Door. So it's just G, two strums for now, D, two strums for now, and then C, four strums for now. There it is again. G, D, C. G, D, C. All right, and we'll.
we'll talk about this. We'll talk about that sort of stuff later. Okay. Uh, also want to do um, leave it on a jet plane. Same three. Uh, same three chords. Uh, keep in mind there is an A minor in Knockin' Out Heaven's Door too. We'll do it later. Uh, so here's leave it on a jet plane. Four of everything, basically. So it's like. Just for fun, you could do um, American Pie, G twice, C twice, G twice, D twice. Do Brown and Girl, it's the same thing, just four of everything. Different strums eventually, you know. But for now, just on the beat, steady beats, quarter notes. All right, have fun. Let me know if you have questions. I uh, hope that works for you. Take care. Bye-bye.